Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. This is a tutorial for the song This Is Living by Hillsong Young and Free from the album, I guess it's an EP, This Is Living. Uh, this is a lot of fun. Uh, I've led this one a couple times and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to play, it's a lot of fun to sing, a lot of high energy. And uh, I'm going to teach you on acoustic guitar. There's a, not a lot to this song at all. Uh, like every young and free song I've ever played is four chords that just repeat like all the way through. This one's no different. So um, I'm going to show you this song in the key of D. On the album, it's in the key of E, and it's very high for a male uh, singer. Even the key of D is pretty high, so you might even want to take it down to C. Um, or maybe even B, if you'd like, depending on your voice and your range. But uh, if you head over to worshiptutorials.com, you can get our chord chart kit for this song, which has the charts in all the keys that you would uh, find relevant. Whether you're a male singer or a female singer, there are keys that will work for you, and you can see what those are over there at Worship Tutorials. But I'm going to show you key of D, and... Uh, there's not a lot of acoustic guitar, probably not any acoustic guitar in the record, but I'm going to show you how you can kind of play acoustic. You're just going to kind of hold down rhythm if you're playing acoustic guitar. So the chords are G, then it goes to an A. That is the voicing of A that I play in this song. It's really easy. I use it a lot in the key of D, and you'll see why, because you can move around between A and B minor and D and G very easily. Then it goes to B minor. Which I play like this. It's kind of a uh, cheating voice of B minor. It's a little easier than this. And I think it sounds better in this key. And then it is D over F sharp. So all you do is play a D and then I wrap my thumb around and I grab the E string, low E string, second fret, which is an F sharp. You can also lift, play this high E string open, which is what I do often. Okay, so those are the four chords in the song, G, A, B minor, D over F sharp. That is the progression of the entire song, and it never changes all the way through. You play them one measure each, I think. Yes, one measure each. It's about 128 BPM. It is definitely 4-4, four, four. and uh, for strumming pattern, um, this song has what we call, what I call a four on the floor kind of a feel, which is very common in rock music. Uh, a lot of like uh, modern worship music we do, and especially in electronic music, which is kind of what this song sounds a little bit like. All that means is there's a kick drum, or in this case, it's a, like a drum machine or like an 808 kind of a thing, but it's uh, a kick drum on or a bass drum on every beat. That's four on the floor, meaning one, two, three, four, kick, kick, doom, 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 all the way through the song. I'm pretty sure it never changes. Actually, no, it does go to halftime. Uh, right before the rap. But anyway, you're going to kind of cop that feel with your strumming. So if you were just down strumming on the quarter notes, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, that would be four on the floor, four beats. Um, that's a little boring. So what I do is this I do a couple strumming patterns. This is one. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Um, and when the song gets bigger, I kind of do this, and it gets this pulsing four on the floor thing. One, two, three, four, one, two. Very easy. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. On your down, up, down, ups, and you're emphasizing the one, two, three, four. Uh, so that's basically strumming pattern. Um, so song sections, uh, there's not a lot to really go over here because it's just the same thing over and over. I know I've said that over and over. <laughs> Maybe this tutorial fits the, the theme of the song. Okay, so um, intro is G, A, B minor, D. You 
you play it twice? You know what? Instead of teaching you each part, I'm just going to sing the verse over this thing. Here we go. Waking up knowing there's a reason All my dreams come alive Life is for living with you I've made my decision Then on the record it goes to verse 2 You lift me up, fill my eyes with wonder For every young in your love This freedom's untainted with you The moment is wasted now we get to what I call a pre-chorus, and uh, it's the see the sun now. Energy starts to pick up, and it goes like this. See the sun now bursting through the clouds, black and white, turn the color all around. All is new in the Savior I am found. This is living now. Now we are in the chorus. So I call the chorus just the this is living now, and it repeats twice. Um, so we go straight into the chorus from there. So, uh, all is new in the Savior I am found. That's the pre-chorus. Here's the chorus. This is living now. This is living now. Now on the record, it goes on the album, it goes straight back to verse 3. Got you right beside me. Then it goes pre chorus again. See the sun now bursting through the clouds. Um, then it goes chorus. This is living now. This is living now. Now we get to what I call a bridge. You take me higher than I've been before. And uh, it's the same chord progression. So it goes like this. Living now. Here's the bridge. You take me higher than I've been before. It's your perfect love that sees me so. Got your freedom is an open door. You are everything I want and more. Okay, now you have a choice to make. Um, if you're leading this song, after you do that bridge the first time, you get to the either solo, instrumental section, or rap section, depending on um, what kind of personnel you have. If you have someone who can rap, uh, someone like Lecrae on your team, then by all means, go for it. But if you don't, uh, there's no shame in taking that part out of the song. And what I do is I put in an uh, eight-measure solo section. So you go through that whole progression four times. So in the chord charts, uh, you'll see that it says the solo there is eight measures, but then if you want to do the rap, there's it's a lot more measures. I can't remember off the top of my head how many, but uh, it's really easy to play. You just play the same thing <laughs> over and over. But it's very important on a song like this where um, it's the same chord progression that just repeats, you have to play with a lot of dynamics. And if you're on by yourself or in a small band on acoustic, it's very important. I have a lesson on dynamics. Um, the easiest way to do it is just don't strum all the strings during the verses and strum them all during the choruses so you kind of go from this feel to this feel right here. So you can see how that's a lot different, um, but it's the same progression. When you get to the solo, go to halftime. And if you're by yourself, you can do that strumming. You can just, uh, um, let's see, what's the last line of the bridge? Your freedom is an open door. You are everything I want and more. Two, three, four. And then build. That's what I like to do. So that's how I did it on uh, my sort of acoustic arrangement. Again, um, this is how you can kind of play a halftime groove. So it's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, and then build. And 
And then you end with a chorus and a bridge, and then it just ends on a G, sort of abruptly. But uh, yeah, if you have a drummer, you'll really want to drill down on playing a halftime groove there. Um, and if your drummer has been playing the drums for any amount of time, he'll know what that, or she'll know what that means, hopefully. If not, you can just listen to the record and you can see how it feels like it slows down by half, but it stays at the same tempo. Um, okay, so you come out of that solo section or the rap, and you come right back into the chorus. This is living now. You take me higher than I've been before. The bridge repeats again, and then it ends sort of abruptly on a, a G, which is the first chord of the progression. So I'll play the end of it and show you how uh, I would end it if I were leading this song. So. Uh, let's do Take Me Higher, the bridge. You take me higher than I've been before. It's your perfect love that sees me so. God, your freedom is an open door. You are everything I want. And in two, three, four. Just like that. <laughs> it, con it comes quick, um, but that's how they do it in the record. And there's some synth stuff that keeps going. Um, but that's what I would do. You could just strum one time on the G. So there you go. This is Living from the Hillsong Young and Free This is Living album. Super easy song to play. Not so easy to sing. So you might want to uh, you might want to figure out where that is. The rhythm sort of when you sing in that bridge part higher than I've been before. Eh, you're kind of hitting the the quarter notes, but it's a lot of words. So it's a great actually it's a great exercise in breathing. Take a very deep breath and uh, control your breathing when you sing out and you should have enough breath to finish all those phrases even if you're like me and you gotta just belt it out at the top of your lungs when you sing that line. So head over to Worship Tutorials. We've got resources on this song for you there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.